Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host Jake. Today I'm joined by Brack from Braggia. Hey. And Ben from Nolan TCG. Oh yeah. Yeah. He has our match. <laughs> so how'd you go in the OTS uh, Asian English Championship? Oh my god, I wish well, we, we should I, play that. I took home the map. We should find these tournaments and go and play them. Imagine if we're also banned from Asian English tournaments. <laughs> Imagine. Imagine. I like that map. It's nice and shiny. It's a great map. Depending on how this is cut, you may have seen a guest appearance. Oh, also, um, yeah, on the audio version, we are looking at uh, Ben's turbulence map. Yes. Gifted to me by the Wii, Curti. Yeah, and the story behind that is also hilarious, because you went <laughs> to message the guy to buy it. He said it was already sold, but... Turns out it was to you, sold it was, to Kurt, who was buying it for me. <laughs> Kurt being a little cutie. Um, how was our week in Yu-Gi-Oh? Let's start with Ben. My week in Yu-Gi-Oh. Do you remember Tuesday? <laughs> you always forget Tuesday. You need to start making notes. Uh, I've, I've been first. Yeah, in I've been first playing round. joke decks. Yeah. I played Nemesis Thunder Dragon, uh, which was cute. It was fine. It's actually a pretty funny deck. Um, like, you're just trying to end on, like, Appaloosa, one of the Nemesises, and Colossus. Mm. Or you can just end on both Nemesis. Um, which is pretty cute. Like, by all, all means, it's it's a fun deck. Uh, hard loses to Jake playing Horus, because <laughs> the Nemesis only lock out one kind of the Horus. Mm. Doesn't stop the other four. Mm. Um, or Light and Darkness Dragon, in fact. No, 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 no. Uh, so yeah, that didn't work fantastically well. Also, the part where I read my cards was also the part that I probably should have done beforehand. Uh, but I built the deck in 45 minutes. Um, so, you know, it's fine. Imagine what you could do with an hour. Yeah, I was like, conceptually, all these cards go together. I'll make this work. Um, so yeah, that was fine. Uh, today I played Ashen. It was sad. Um... <laughs> The deck just that doesn't do enough. Like yeah. it's, yeah. So wait till December when we see where the OCG gets and yeah. see how it goes. Like, what could it get? What What would you want? What did you find yourself missing? A disruption. Yeah. Like just a monster that summons from deck that's a disruption. Yep. Like you have hero of the Ashen City, but like, yeah. it's not good enough. No. Like the fact that Spearman is not a quick effect is really really bad. Like, why would I want to bounce one of my opponent's cards on my turn? TCG like, exclusives can't be too powerful anymore. I, like, set up my full combo to be like, okay, cool, then I'll do this, do this, get the field spell, pop it, yep, off I go, summon this, and then I started searching my deck for Spearman, and I read Spearman, and I was like, this isn't a quick effect. This oh, no, do this, is, this doesn't actually do what I want this to do right Wait, now. when did you read it? Uh, as I was searching my deck to summon it, <laughs> I was like, okay, here we go, here we go. Time to summon the Spearman. Oh, Spearman's not a quick effect. This sucks. Um, but yeah. I lost to Logan because he stole me for time. <laughs> no, I didn't. I beat you 2-0. No. He beat me 2-0. You lost because you didn't read your card you drew in the end phase. Yeah, and then I Did used you... it in game 2, but there was 30 seconds left because your turn took half now. Did you use Cosmic Cyclone again? No, no, no. He attacked me for like 3,000 and then went past and I was like, okay, uh, set up my little board, uh, end phase, draw, the quick play, quick play, put the field spell down uh, on his turn. He does an effect in the main phase. I nuclearize monsters, nuclearize spells and traps. Uh, and then and the time, time goes off. off. And I'm like... <laughs> Man lost because he didn't read his cards. Mm -hmm. If only you had... Imagine what you could have done with an hour. Yeah. I could have watched Logan play for longer. You could have lost. <laughs> you could have still lost work. Yeah. <laughs> no um, apologies. Does bring a question to mind in when will we get a danger or a spiral TCG exclusive archetype again? Because they've had miss after miss after miss of late, and I feel like they're about due it's, for a banger. It seems intentional that it's miss after miss after miss lately. Whoever like, does, it seems as though they're like. We've got a really cool idea. I didn't say good idea. I said cool idea. 
And the thing is, with Ashen, they hyped it up so much as well, because like all the Snake Eyes broken stuff was starting to come out, and they're like, oh, the TCG archetype is Pyro, so make sure you get those bonfires. Like, Ashen is a top 50% of TCG released archetypes, exclusives. Oh, yeah, yeah because well, the rest of it includes War Rock. Okay, yeah, so War Rock <gasps> like, shout. it's the best one they've released Dream Mirror. in a while. Yeah, look, if I understood Dream Mirror, I would give it a crack, but I honestly have no idea what's happening. The fusion seems really good. Both need fun spells. Classic Jake. Somehow I feel as though they designed Ashen to beat the other TCG exclusive archetypes that aren't burning this. Maybe that's what it is. They've just locked, um, let's call him Steve, for argument's sake, in a room, and he's only allowed to test the TCG archetypes of yes. stuff he's already made. He's like, this beats all of them. All of those decks that I made have mandatory field spells. Off we go. Yep, B Trooper has a field spell. Um, Dream Mirror has multiple field spells. Yes. Well, game one, round one, I drew my hand today and knew it was going to be a bad day. Uh, when I opened uh, fucking Order of Chaos or the, the field, the Chaos field spell. Gateway. Ah, Gate, perfect. Gateway, uh, yeah, Gateway and Set Rotation and Chicken Game. I was like, that's all my field spells. That's all of them. <laughs> yep. Uh, I just can't resolve this anymore. <laughs> Good times. Oh, shit. I, I put chicken game face up, effect draw a card, and then hoped my opponent didn't realise how to out it. <laughs> yeah, there is that. Yeah. Like, the newbies may not understand, but I don't <laughs> think we really had any newbies in today. Like, Kurt wasn't there, Luke wasn't there. Chad played his whole combo and still didn't out it, and I was like, we could have a chance here. And then he was like about to go battle phase, and he was like, oh, wait, uh, chicken game. And I was like, okay, yeah, cool game. <laughs> Good game. <laughs> uh, Bragg, how was your week? Uh, so I wasn't on last week's because I had to go to Blacktown after Penrith States. That's a lie. You had to go to the zoo. Yeah, in Blacktown. Is that where it is? I thought yeah. you went to the one on the so, harbour. No. He didn't no. go to the good one. Um, uh, it's not... Uh, yeah. Taronga's a bit. Uh. Yeah, but at least you get the real prison vibes at Taronga. <laughs> Sydney, like, Sydney Zoo at night times is actually fantastic because there is no sun, so therefore you are not hot. Don't see any animals though, but there's light installations and all that stuff. Anyway, uh, the tournament, oh yeah, went terribly. Well, I paired it up against, first round I paired against uh, Rika, Plant, Spam, and they came, I don't think they made it through in Top Cut, but they definitely topped there was the Swiss. A, there was a Rika. Oh no, yeah, it was, it was, yeah, it was him. Yeah, so yeah. there was a Rika pile. But I don't know how he went in the, the end game, so I was like, oh. Yeah, of course, and then had a yeah, cash match up where they, I just got shifted both both games. It happened. And well, it didn't happen to me all Sunday. Oh, and all was one of the few bits of respite I had. I <laughs> uh, drew all the patchwork engine at one point too. Uh, and made the mistake of, oh, well, I'm just going to poke with chain. And I, I'm already sitting on one patchwork that well, I couldn't use because I had two polys in my hand. And I had the ch chain as well. I'm like, probably should search the other patchwork just in case. Yeah, whatever. Doesn't matter. Next draw, patchwork. And I was like, alright. Yeah. And that was already under shifted too, so uh, it's like, yeah, uh, cool. Uh, uh, yeah, so it was it was a terrible showing. I don't know really like the deck could probably be more consistent. I've always been if you're on the patchwork engine. This is for Chimera Illusion. Uh we'll see how we go. Did you bring Melodius back? Mm -hmm. Cool. I'll go put the Melodius back in. Uh or do I? Or do you? We'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll see what I do next week. For... I personally think you couldn't. <laughs> I wonder why. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. And then been playing the Limit One Festival. I almost like Highlander Snake Eyes. I hate it because it's just. It's, I, the I same. always have everything. You... Yeah, it's, yeah, because <laughs> it's all one card starters. <laughs> it's, instead, of, instead of going, oh, sh I don't know what to cut, and like in. In current format, I'm almost tempted to play a Highlander version eventually, because yeah. I played like that plus Horus plus Cash Tira. Yep, yep, and yep the Horus is, yeah. At one point I was like, this is just better if I go second. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, maybe going second, play some more second cards, because yeah, I've got like, going second with Evenly and stuff. Cause... The amount of times like I got disrupted going first and was just like, ah, oh, I pass. Disrupted my opponent back and then they just passed to me and I was like, this is game. Yep. Also, the amount of times I lost die roll and was like, "Oh, I don't, I don't care. I'm winning this." Yeah, it's. I'm almost <coughs> tempted to give it a go, 
Hey, hey Konami, you want to start limiting cards so I can justify it? Limit Please. everything. Yeah, honestly, limit all Snake Eyes and cash. And then we can play the best version of the deck. Yeah. Almost. I don't know. You probably... Actually, well, no. With um, Snake Eyes Diable style, you wouldn't have a problem. Like, missing the second snake is pretty annoying. But you don't need it anymore. Yes. Do that. Limit everything. Yeah, that has been my biggest frustration in the Limit 1 Festival. Is it's like... Cash tier is basically a one-card yeah. thing. Um, These are already limited anyway. Cool. Snake Eyes, very much one card. And they have multiple one-card starters. Um, meanwhile, me with my uh, Orcist, Bestial, Tear Element, Horus, Pile, I'm, I'm clamouring. I'm <laughs> Just play Snake as well. I don't want to play Snake. Snake is boring. I see enough of Snake in the normal format. Fuck it off. Snake's, snake is fun to play. Nah. Put it in the bin. It's actually the most boring shit. No. Yep. No. Oh, it's it's, do you know oh, what I, it is? I get it. It's boring non- to play. Have no, you no. played it? Have you played the deck? Yeah, I have. When? When I got it on Master Door. No, physical cards. No. Not paying a thousand dollars for that shit. Fuck off. It's fun. It's not. It actually is really expensive. Do you know what it is? It's just Cyburst less Cyburst. Yeah. <laughs> Disrupt as much as you can on your turn. Make a big thing and attack for game. Sounds fun. Oh, no, no, you, no, no, no. Hey. You make three big things. <laughs> 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 How about your week? It's very boring. Uh, my week. Uh, so, yeah, as stated before, last Sunday was terrible. Um, so I've entered my Floodgate era and I'm playing Horus Stun. Um, yeah. It has been performing quite well, mm. um, despite it being still a pretty janky list. I'm still missing several things that I realistically should have. Um, but one on Tuesday, because um, I opened uh, Light and Darkness Dragon and Floodgates uh, in several matchups. It was very fun. Uh, and then today went X1. Um, I lost because I opened all level 8s that didn't do anything. Um, literally, Double Gam Seal, uh, one of the bad Horuses, and uh, Lava Golem. You keep going. I'm just wondering why you... Why isn't Lightning Stark and Dragon in this set? Sure. What sets are from? Wait, the original? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I'll shut up. <laughs> um, and then in Marcel, as stated, uh, I've completed as much of the Limit 1 festival as I want to do because I got all the gems. Uh, now I'm on to the Fusion and Link festival, uh, for which I am playing. Uh, I wanted to just go in with Brandon because I was like, this would just be simple. Uh, they banned Brandon Fusion. Um, so instead, <laughs> I went in with Despia Dark Lord. Main reason why you summon the first. I am of the Dark shocked Lord. at your deck choice. I know it's so left field. Um, the main reason I'm playing is because it has fusions and links, obviously. Mm. And then uh, if you make first of the Dark Lord with Morning Star, it blows up the board and it can't be targeted. Mm. That's that's exactly what uh, Ashen does. <laughs> It, it blows up the board and can't be targeted. That's what Ashen tries to do. <laughs> what about um, combos? But yeah, that's been, uh, well, A, bad. It's not good. Um, it's I'm playing too many Dark Lord cards, I feel. How many? How many? <laughs> Two? Many. No, <laughs> that's more than that, unfortunately. Um, Surely you're playing the consistency Dark Lords. Well, yeah, so it's like... Like, it's three of the Searcher, I think two of the Reborn, and then one of the Negate, one of the Destroy, one of the Steal. No draw? Hmm? Well, Ixchil is the draw. Yeah. I'm playing three Ixchil. This just sounds okay. like Sky Striker. Why are you playing Sky Striker? Because Sky Striker They're links. You just, listed, you just listed six cards that sound like Sky Striker cards. Yeah, Except. but they're interesting because they're Dark Lords. <laughs> well, some people like... Nah... Let's not go. Let's not go there <laughs> yet. Um, but yeah, I've also Soon. done that as far as I want to do because I've also got all the gems. Okay. Um, so uh, just quickly, uh, there isn't a lot of news to talk about. If you haven't noticed, but I mean, bringing up random subjects and talking random shit. Um, but starting with Master Duel, a uh, quick uh, update to some news as of last week. Um, we talked about the tactical Tridex being released to Master Duel first. Mm-hmm. Um, initially, I thought they were going to be in like a um, 
like the tactical try um, thing, like side event kind of thing. Mm. But what they actually are is that you can rent them for ladder or you can't... Yeah, it's terrible. You wouldn't do that. Um, or you can use them in solo mode. So rather rent than doing... Ladder, sorry. Hmm? Rent them in ladder. Yeah. Do yeah, you yeah, pay yeah. gems? No. Well, it's borrowing then, isn't it? Yeah. Renters rise up. Um, imagine so, if, oh my god, imagine if it was like 25 gems to rent this. That's what I thought. No. Uh, well, the whole idea is to get the OCG to play with it and then go, oh yeah, this is kind of cool, I'll buy it. So it'd be kind of rough to be like, yep, yeah, we'll take 20, 20 of yours. You still need to put two of them together for it to be competent. Mm-hmm. Uh, in Marcel, it's literally fine. I didn't realise people had troubles crafting anything they wanted in Master Jill. Yeah. Well, when you're talking about, like, Evil Twin especially, like, there's a lot of ultras oh, in that. Oh, true. And then when you add in the sprite cards, there's a lot of those. It sucks that you just can't buy them. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, in the solo modes, as opposed to doing a storyline thing, it's more like you get the try duel, which shows you, like, the basic mechanics, and then you get another duel in which you're just, like, free-versing with the deck. Yep. Um, the reward for which is an icon for each deck. So one for Cyber Dragon, one for Evil Twin, and, and one old, for Eldritch. Another Eldritch one. Do we already have an Eldritch? Yes. But we, is, it, imagine it's different art then. I, I would think so. It's I don't all know just which a shot of Lord's face. Like. Yeah. True. Sure. It's just... Is and, it tilted is he or like this or is it like this? <laughs> <laughs> um, like yeah, this. that's where Master Wars at at the moment. Um, so moving on to some other news of which... As mentioned before, there is not a lot. Um, so we got a new card announced for the uh, ABC XYZ cards uh, that we talked about last week. Uh, this card is awful. Uh, so it's called A to Z Energy Load. Uh, so when your opponent activates a card or effect, draw cards equal to the number of level 8 or higher light machine fusion monsters you control. Uh, during your standby phase, you can banish this card from your graveyard. Shuffle up to six of your banished light machine monsters into the deck, including a union monster. You're shuffling six back and they can't give you a draw? No. It's because the Ojamas shuffle three back and give you one draw. Oh, yes, the Ojamas. It's the better way to play the union monsters. True. I mean, compared to this, I would have to argue yes. It's... Why have they gone so far out of their way to make this like support bad and this is the this was the last card of that uh we won't be getting any more support for abc from the rest of oh that's that pack. it for the the dollars yeah, of light pack 15 yeah i think it's that many eight new cards i think it is so they at Plus, least release a fusion that has abc xyz listed as the materials no damn so you can't even had, yeah have one job yeah uh, but into better news for uh, not most people, uh, the Asian English region is getting a Salomon Great structure deck. It's quite good. It is very good. Um, so it comes with um, obviously a lot of the good Salomon Great cards like Will. Um, it comes with all the Salomon Great cards. Yeah, pretty much. Um, but yeah, there's obviously some in there that you couldn't give a shit about. Yeah. Like. Uh, the card that I saw before, uh, Salomon Grey Claw, that I've never heard of before. Yeah, it goes with the, the synchro or the ritual, I think. I think I'll take your Claw word for it. Claw might be the ritual spell. Um, or it's equipped for the ritual. They get Cross Out and Sign Out Mining as some um, generic cards. Um, Fine cards? Good cards? Lady Debug as well. Four yep. Mud Skipper. It was relevant at one point. Yeah. I mean, if you're playing it like literally as like a Highland out of the box thing, that's not bad. Yeah, just buy again, buy a couple. Lots um, of the races. And then they get one of each of the extra deck cards, which is obviously a problem in that particular deck. Uh, so in the power up pack, all the other um, cards are in there, but then they've also added the generic cards of Nightmare Phoenix, Kaiser Coliseum, uh, Triple Tactics Thrust, and Red Reboot. The Kaiser Coliseum made me go. I thought we were getting rid of this. Their power up packs are so wild. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine that you've set up like the link for the pop for the counter trap, and then you're just like, oh, I'll just whack a sneaky Kaiser on there too. You want to get rid of it? Lock yourself. <laughs> well, go, go, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Um, yeah, uh, that is regrettably where the news ends. <laughs> we, I could swear we had something more this week. I mean, 
I mean, I can take a quick cursory look, but I don't remember there being anything else to really chat about. Lightning Storm. Also, uh, if if you are a news Yu-Gi-Oh junkie like me, the OCG Twitter, I've now turned notifications on. And therefore, I now know when those drop. Which, they don't really upload non-news stuff on there. Gcat can here searching for news. I'm, I'm looking, I can't see anything. It's fine. There's a bunch of Rush Duel stuff this this week. <laughs> oh! That's, I mean, Rush that's Duel quite... No, that wasn't Rush Duel Bandless. It was, um, they're getting contact fusions in Rush Duels as well as Flare Wingman. Okay. No, Flame Wingman. Wasn't there, true. um, wasn't there shark cards or did you talk about them last week? We brought them up in the podcast speed run. Ah. Yes. Not much news. <laughs> yeah, and they were poo. Uh, and yeah, you talked about the Alua stuff, I remember. Um, she was in, she was in, I'm surprised you didn't remember the Alua Queen because she was in Vrains. She but was she was, strange. she was played by one of the robots, right? Mm. I didn't pay enough attention. Yeah, because she was a, a Bakura card way back when, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And yeah, they just randomly just repurposed it. And the cards suck. They are relinquished, but bad. Yeah, because it's like, the whole premise of them, I think, is to take monsters that have, like, a certain amount of attack or lower than the Allure Queens, and then the whole point of the link is to buff them up so that they can take more stuff, I think is the idea. Yeah. But yeah. yeah, I care not to read them enough to understand. Or, Ooh. just give me more Relinquists, please and thank you. Yeah, we are about due for some Pegasus support. Well, not if they're giving Allure Queen support, it's the same gimmick, unless they give, I don't know what other gimmick you can't give. Isn't it uh, weird that... We have the sucky sucky effect either given to Please don't explain monster, that. <laughs> a, a walking flashlight, or a woman. <laughs> I'm going to leave that alone. Uh, moving on to some questions, if you weren't aware. Oh, we Rolling have... doesn't really walk, though. He's got more of a, a spinning top base. If you weren't aware, we do have a Discord link. Literal be... definition of a gay blade. In the... <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm not going to get involved. If you weren't aware, we do have a Discord link will be in the description below. Feel free to jump in, say hi, and ask us questions. Our first one this week comes to us from who I believe is a new listener. Oh, uh, new Luanor. question asker. Huh? Who? Luanor. Yeah. Let me just see this name. Yeah, we can't trust Jake with the first pass of names. Luanor is fine. Hi, Luanor. Uh, wait, no, is that? That's a horror movie reference, isn't it? The one with, um... It's the Raven, yeah. Oh, Eleanor is what I was thinking of. Oh, I thought you were being an egg Allen Poe. No, I get that too. Uh, anyway, Lenore asks, uh, what are some of the new players at your locals? Or who are some of the new local people at your locals and what are they playing? Um, is that Lenore? Yeah. Are you a new player at our locals? Is oh. this a bait question? Huh? Huh? Oh, is their name not Will Shifter You? No. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In other discords, they call themselves Will Shift You. This is Lucas. <laughs> Lucas Alt. <laughs> or my table, my opponent on table 64. <laughs> <laughs> um, recently, we haven't had that much influx of players. I think the most recent person was the Vanquish Soul person, who was also dropping Shifter a lot. Is this you? Are is you the Vanquish Soul Shifter person? I think it is. Um, yeah, haven't really had a new uh, influx of new players. We've had person coming back and playing the same shit they were playing when they were here last, but not new. Yeah, so we like I also just don't know the avenue of how new players get into the game at the moment. Like, you so, can't, you can't, you have to, you almost have to stumble into something, some bait on TikTok. I saw a YouTube video. Huh? That was like why you -Oh has a new players problem, and then like had a tactical tri deck like getting destroyed, and I was like, "What? This is the very reason why there should be new players in the game. We should get tactical tri decks." Yeah. But then what? The end of Master Duel. That's the reason. You don't yeah, that's the current funnel they're working yes. on. But when you start playing Master Duel and like the economy's working for you, you then look at the TCG and how much money you have to spend to get into it. You're like, mm -hmm, nope. Yeah. We have had a couple of like random people coming on Sundays recently though that are like I play Master Duel and now I decided to play. So like, okay. And then they got shifted and yeah. impermed and drolled and they're yeah. like, I don't want to play anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I mean that is, I mean that's also Master I mean I'm playing this because there's no Max E. <laughs> oh yeah, draw. That fucking card. 
Um, next question is from Ragai. Uh, how did you, how long did it take you to win your first locals? Since I, when I came back? Sure. Took a year. Not even that, no. Yeah, about a year. I'd say a year. I'd argue mine was probably longer. Like if I won in between that, it was like pure luck sack. I was playing some fucking jank when I first came in. Oh, well, some starting to play regular locals, probably about six months, but that was that was fortnightly locals. Oh, God. I will say, yeah. I think we've brought this up before, but again, padding. Uh, what was the first deck you played when you first started going to regular locals? Frogs. Uh, yeah, by that time I moved on to frogs. I took I took gadget, machine and gadget to that first nationals I went to and then switched to frogs. And then I, think you, I think you've also brought this up, but I can't remember. The actual first deck or when I started trying? Actual first deck. Oh, it was like literally the Yugi starter deck. Ah, I, okay. I got back into playing the game because they released that Yugi starter deck three pack. Yep. And okay. I was like, oh, yeah, I'll buy this. But which of the three Yugi decks did you play? Uh, the th season one one. Ah, oh, so like Exodia, Vanillas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to Locals and they were like, what degree is illegal? And I was like, I'll put another card from another one of these decks in there. <laughs> sure. We used to Set do... Setting Shield Garden up. Oh, we used to do the Yugi deck versus Yugi deck a fair bit. It was pretty fun. I have them sitting in a binder. I have them by deck list sitting in a binder. Hmm. Just chilling there. They go right. Like the the first, the the two the second one versus that final one is like was the better matchup. But obviously because you know the other one has some real pieces of trash in there. Like no offense to Beaver Warrior. The moon. Yeah. You never played the moon. It was just there. Uh my first one when I started going to locals regularly was agents i always remember you as ghost tricks no that's when i guess you could say i moved to level one as opposed to level zero yeah uh, and i was playing ghost trick skeleton mill look it was a pain in the ass i'll tell you that much <laughs> yeah the traps don't target so he would summon these cosmo ships and i'd just flip them <laughs> i was like Ugh. i went from uh yugi starter deck to pepe <laughs> It's a big jump. Yeah. God, Pepe. Was I, w so I was just like, what the fuck are these Pendulum cards? These are busted. I resisted Pendulum. I will buy for the so most long. expensive one. God, Pepe was so good. I bought my Pensorks for like 40 bucks Second each, one. I think. 40 or 50. And then they got announced for the reprint in the Mega 10 like two weeks later. And I was like, oh. Yeah, so my, my feelings. progression was Agents, Ghost Tricks, then Gradles. Then Mermal OTK. Mermal. Um, next question is from 6R6. What is your ultimate comfort, comfort food? Oh, I yeah. I remember today. Jesus. Uh, nachos, probably. <laughs> it's a burger from Chico's, but they closed it the down. <laughs> <laughs> they closed my boy. <laughs> How did you bring this up? <laughs> Well, in, in fairness, Chico's is still open. <laughs> I will deliver it. <laughs> it's not the same. The burger gets sweaty. Yeah. It loses well, some flavour. If you go out there, you can eat it fresh. But it's out there. You can't really eat around it's there. It's out now. there, Jake. They've, it's they've not taken right all there. Seating. Yeah, no, you just drive into the caravan park. Yeah, true. It went from being across the road to a 15 minute drive away. Not really Bullshit. The road and you had to walk there. Have you I can of... see it from my bedroom window. Not no more. This won't be a poll. <laughs> oh, I've got to get the poll result up. But have you ever had a a, a locals it. or a food joint that you really enjoyed close down and move away? But Notice... not close down because they were quiet or bad. Yeah. Close down because they the property values where we live are so astronomically expensive that they were like, you're telling me that. I can be filthy fucking rich if I sell my shop. Okay. I blame Help Jake. I didn't sell it. 
you I would have. <laughs> you're involved in the inflation of uh, property in this economy. No, I'm not involved. I so is I, that motherfucker sitting right uh, there? How am I involved? I don't work with no. them. Look, this is what this We're is what the, making... um, le- this is what the liberals want you to think. Oh, in, it's the real estate agent's fault. No, no, no. The, it's also the, the liberals' fault. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, it's the liberal government's fault. I shouldn't say liberals. That gives yeah, the wrong context. Yeah. Um, so it's the fact that we don't have enough supply to fit the demand. So no, no, us no. selling it. No, has there's enough to do supply with it. to meet the demand. No, there isn't. Yeah, no, there's Across definitely enough supply. supply the, the issue is that old people own seven houses and go, "How am I meant to afford my retirement? I can't get the pension." True. Oh no. My problem. Put it in my house. Do. Now, buy another house. Yeah. What we need is a pandemic. <laughs> that <laughs> another one specifically. <laughs> targets old people just like the, the last one do you mean the flu <laughs> except this uh, time we this don't... time it needs to work and we need to care less yeah this yeah this time we need to not sacrifice locals i can't believe <laughs> Jeez. Uh, Jeez. Uh. look there was a brief time like i look back on parts of that time like specifically uh remote locals <laughs> with a level of fondness <laughs> no nah, there was something like for what we had it was okay I didn't want to do it for much longer, but it was. Oh fun. yeah, it was. It was around for exactly slightly too long than what we wanted it to be. <laughs> exactly slightly too. No, long. like two weeks before we went back, we were like, "This is fucking dumb." Actually, yeah, I think I remember the numbers being like super down yeah. towards. We were having last like weeks. sixteen every remote locals, and then at the very end, it was like, "Who wants to play Among Us?" We've got. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Even oh, even that was getting old. Yeah. Oh my god, that uh, got old immediately. No, I didn't mind it. See, no, it's no. I remember games that... like that are not fun for me. Why? Because everyone targets me because they go, we can't trust him. Well, be more trustworthy. Games like that, Secret Hitler. Literally, I just can't play Secret Hitler because even if I'm a good guy or a bad guy, everyone goes, he's in the game for himself. If we listen to him, he'll win. And I'm like, well, yes. I know how to how to do this. Yeah. So, so you, because in your own words, you're good at the game and you get targeted for it, you then don't no, like it. I get targeted by the people who are on my team because they're too stupid to just listen to what I'm doing. And then I get targeted by the players on the other team because they're like, oh, these other guys are just throwing. Cause, yeah. He's definitely not on our team. You clearly hurt by Josh. Hurt by Josh? That implies that Josh has any idea what he's doing in those games, which, uh, newsflash, he doesn't. Light and Dark Destruction is not in Line of Destruction. Oh, what's it in? Uh, it was a promo card, and then in oh. the in the power-up pack. So it should have been in, uh, Red, Red, Red Collection 2. Video coming to the channel. Instead it'll be in Retro Pack 3. Harry. Um, what was the question again? Oh, comfort food. Um, so you <laughs> said yours. Um... <laughs> 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 Brag? Oh, I already said nachos before we started. Nachos. Um, mine is uh, specifically uh, ravioli carbonara. I can do nachos for dinner tomorrow. Hmm. Yeah. Wait, what time's the the game? I don't know. I haven't checked. Uh, playing a, playing basketball with a belly full of nachos. I think it's like seven thirty, so I can do it after. I was gonna say just eat after basketball. The issue is nah, like I'm always games. I'm always like yeah. I become a husk of a man. I just <laughs> I wither away. I just yeah, I just take in water and just sit. <laughs> um oh, sure. to circle back to Carbonara the Carbonara's a good call, by the way. I love Carbonara. I made it last night with um fettuccine. I, I didn't pick the pasta. That, I made um, a delicious pizza last night and then didn't taste it. <laughs> your you taste as, it on the way back up. Your pizza, straight out, hard carried me through so much alcohol. Yeah. Yeah, because it's so doughy and like just because of the ingredients, it's so greasy generally. It is like perfect drink. I just, food. yeah. Except, you know, you have to drink after you eat it. Yeah, I drank heavily while making it. Ah. Yeah. Even with his favorite knife. Well, no, no. His third favorite knife. Yeah. Um, yeah, to circle back to your thing, um, favorite place that you had and then closed down, not because it was bad. We had on um, like the main strip back where I lived. 
there was um, a row of shops, and at the end there was always a fish and chip shop, but it like changed over heaps shops. for yeah. whatever reason. And there was this one called Metsy's specifically, and they did like phenomenal chips, like excellent little uh, chicken chippy slash goujon type things. I get taking the piss out of no matter how I say it. If I say chippies, yeah, yeah, yeah. I get like people going. I'm not taking the piss. Chips. I'm just I'm just having a giggle. But, chicken, yeah. ch- chicken chips is fun. Yeah, um, they did like amazing food, and they were always busy. And then randomly they just closed down. I was like, oh, that's so disappointing. And to this day, it's still a fish and chip shop of some description. Property market, man. (laughs) Fucking property market. Uh, Moving on to the next question. Like, they demolish the place and they build apartments because they're like, we need to increase supply. The apartments there are like $2 million each. Yeah, the oldies need to buy their sixth house. Uh. (laughs) Oh... Next question is from Ragai. What's an event you'd like to resolve via duel, like in the anime? An event? Well, I want to duel the guy that sold fucking Chico's. <laughs> he wouldn't stand a fucking chance. <laughs> nah, let's be real, I choke. You'd take in Ashen with so much confidence and then brick again. Oh, I never bricked at any point. Oh, I bricked the first hand. I was going to say, you hand, explained the fact that you My bricked. rest of my hands were fantastic. I was going second in that game anyway, and... Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. yeah. Um I would like to resolve parking fines via duel. <laughs> let's, let's go. <laughs> this is gonna be just like five D's all over again. What would a parking inspector? Parking uses inspectors as a duel? roll around yeah, when they do yeah. this on. Would it be like that full uh gate blocker and stuff? Well, you think they duel to archetype? Yeah, well yeah. Well they'd be Trojan, playing Trojan FAs. It's beat They'd be playing FAs. They don't go that fast. It's beat cop. Yeah. Then it's beat cop to the... No, it's the beat cop fucking mystic mind control. Uh, well, thankfully that's banned, so I don't have to worry about that. It's not banned in this universe. Yes, it is. Also, It's very make... much this universe that's banned. They make the laws. <laughs> huh. mm. Cosmic and MST in the main deck. Can't use cosmic. What do you mean you can't use cosmic? You're losing time. Yeah, yeah. There is no time. You've got the time on the fucking... On the before you get fined again. Yeah. yeah. The parking meter. <laughs> no, but it's... Dual to, like... Get out of the ticket? Get out of the ticket. Which oh, they've yeah, already so you already done me. it. Yeah, yeah, true. Oh, I thought you just wanted to fight them. Before they even start. I mean, at this point, I still want to fight them. I make this... Like, yeah, yeah, I haven't yeah. got a parking fine in ages. I was going to say... <laughs> I've never heard you complain about getting a parking fine. I've earned, like, I pretty much get one a year, because it's like, we... One a year? Yeah, well, where we park for work, it's two hour time to be not metered, and, like, generally people are going out and checking the cars to see if they've been marked, because they, like, write on the tyres with, um... Chalk? Chalk, and it, like, tells you when the car has to be moved. But there's, like, one day where the perfect environment works, that, A, they've gone out, because they're not out all the time, B, the person's car hasn't been checked and see no one else is parked any of them to check so it's like every so often the perfect scenario comes up and someone cops are fine i think the last one i got was actually for a weekend showing i was doing i just like i rocked up late because of traffic i just whacked my car in a spot like started setting up the house and whatever and then i came out and it was a no parking zone and it must be the owner that like sits out there with the fucking binoculars and it's like oh my God. and like that one because it was a no stopping zone specifically was like three hundred dollars i've never gotten a fine i've only been driving for two years so no there's time i once you. parked oh. on the grass at the first train station before they expanded out the parking and when i got there there was a slip on window and i was like fuck i finally got a fine i checked it and it was like a thing being like how bad that there's not enough parking spots here, but please don't park here. <laughs> <laughs> We're sorry. It's like, good. Yeah. We're sorry that the parking yeah, lot you is apologize completely the... full at 8.30 in the morning. I don't want to park anywhere for longer than I have to. It's your fault. <laughs> oh, it's more like there was, wasn't enough public... Yeah. There, so that everyone's like, use public transport. But there's not enough parking at the train station to use the public transport. Yep. It's a problem. And not enough buses. God, I could have done with a bus last night. Fucking property market. We're <laughs> <laughs> back on that anyway. Uh, and our last question comes to us from Braggio. How old were you when you what? realized the Millennium Eye is in the OCG logo? 33. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I remember seeing it there. I just wasn't like hyper fixated on it. 
that's a nice little touch. Yeah. I I really I noticed when I was like seven. Like when I first bought some fake Yu-Gi-Oh cards that had Japanese backs on them for some reason. They were Asian English. Uh, and I was like Is that what you used to win? <laughs> okay. Yes. Um <laughs> Yeah, but I, I thought it was like, oh, there's the money of on it. And then there was like this other trap card that existed. I think it's like the Eye of Truth or something. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, hey. Cool. And Serene Eye. Or yeah. Serenity or whatever. <laughs> Serenity. <laughs> Serenity. <laughs> Uh, but that does conclude for this week. Thank you all very much for listening and watching. If you are listening along, feel free to favourite. If you're watching, feel free to like and subscribe. Jump into our Discord, ask us some questions, and we'll catch you all next week. 